Some of my online students have been asking about a reactor ensemble, which is called the Resicord. And it's something that's not covered in the point blank online course, but I just thought I would actually do a video to explain how it works because not many people understand how this works. And this video is focused on using it within Logic. Now what I've got is, at the moment, I've got one of my favorite plugins here, the Microtonic. I'm gonna lay down a beat on here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send the beat through the Resicord to create quite a unique effect that is possible. So let me just do something now. Um, this particular drum machine has uh, a very nice character. I'm just gonna lay down a simple house beat here. At the moment, this is gonna be the default snare sound. I'll play this. Doesn't sound particularly good at the moment, so I'm gonna drop this down, open up drum patch, gonna select the kick drum selection here, and I'm gonna go for one which is called BD Neo, very similar to the 909 style kick drum on here. Gonna pick the tempo up as well, just gonna go for 127 or 128, that'll do. And let's just get a couple more elements here. So I'm gonna select, get myself a clap, Let's go to the drum patches. Claps are contained within percussion. Let's have a look. You get a preview on each sound here. Let's go for that one. So let's just bring this in every second beat. You can lift the level up here. Let's get that there. Just gonna look for a another percussion sound. Let's have a look. In fact, a tom would be good. Let's get this. So nice little tom flavor there. Let's get a hi-hat. So we're gonna come on to hi-hats. Let's have a look. Okay, I might just lay something down and then customize it. That'll do for the moment, I like the sound of that. So I'm just gonna play this like this. But I'm gonna do accent. So also what I'm gonna do with that particular one, I'm gonna lengthen that, so I'm gonna take the decay out. You can hear now it's got a longer tone to it. That's the noise oscillator. So you've got here the sine wave. Let's bring that back a bit. There's the noise element of it. So we can customize the sound. Little stereo switch on here gives it some widening. So it's nice, a little, real simple little flavor there. So I'm gonna keep that. So that's what I'm gonna use as my foundation. Now, the way this works with the Resicord is that you feed the signal of whatever it is you're using through the Resicord as a sidechain in, because Resicord basically allows you to use the MIDI keyboard to change the, the melodic side to it. In that respect, what we need to do is to create a software instrument track with the Resicord loaded. So I'm just gonna name this track here, Beats. And I'm gonna now create another software instrument track. So I'm gonna click Create. This is going to be Reactor. So I'm gonna come down here, Instruments, Native Instruments, Reactor 5, Reactor 5 Stereo. It's gonna load up. And I'm gonna to come to the browser, click on the ENS. And this is part of the Electronic Instruments 2 collection. So coming down to Resicord, and I'm gonna double click on Resicord here. So up comes the auto save. I'm not gonna bother here in this scenario because for the demo, it's just gonna be as it is. I'm not gonna save the actual project itself. So here it is. Gonna shut this down so that we can condense the window. We can see things clearly. And this is the plugin. I'm gonna drop down here to show you this preset called Sum Chords. It's a really nice one to work with. On the left-hand side, we can choose whether we can click on manually to change the settings or to use MIDI to change the settings. And because this is an instrument, if I push on the record enable, I'm gonna show you here, when I push my MIDI keyboard, the slots are moving. Okay, so you can see here where the cursor is. These green blobs are representing different chords that can be played. We're not hearing anything at the moment. So what I need to do is I need to take my beats and I need to route these through so that they can become available as a sidechain in. And that means that I need to route them through a bus. So on the Microtonic channel, 
I'm sending the out into a bus. Let's bring this up. So the audio signal is going through the bus. On the bus, I'm going to say no output. So I don't want to hear that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drop down the side chain here, bus one, and that's going to bring the beats through so that we have an entirely processed sound. So it's like running it like as an insert in this configuration. So let's have a listen to the sound, let's see how that is. And the MIDI key. Then we switch on to, um, of course, onto the correct instrument. So it was triggering the microtonic there. Very easy mistake to make. So if I come over here, you can already hear how interesting this sounds. So Rezo chord, let's now get this sorted out. So I've got the first slot, here we go. So the aim is, is that I would record MIDI into the logic sequencer, and that's gonna record the switching between those chord presets. So it's got quite a unique vibe on there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna extend this and I'm gonna record it into there, a selection of these switches. So from C1 upwards on the MIDI keyboard, this is happening. So I'm gonna push record. So these have become MIDI notes. Let's have a look. Let's bring this up so we can see a bit more clearly. So you can see at these points, these MIDI notes, this is where the transition is occurring. So I'll play it back. So that's one of the ways that you can work with the Reza chord. There are other ways to do that, but I'm gonna leave that up to you guys to explore. So in terms of what you need to do, firstly, take your beats, route them out through a bus. On the bus, set to no output. Route the bus into the Reza chord that you've loaded as a software instrument. That's the important part. Load Reza chord as a software instrument not as an insert effect on the channel strip that your drums are loaded on, okay? Because it needs to have the actual MIDI keyboard input to work and for you to get the most benefit out of it. Okay, so have fun discovering that.